what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is David Hanlon, aka The Laptop Legend, and in today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through my Stream Deck by Elgato and how I use this for day trading. Now, I was looking for tutorials everywhere on YouTube and I could not find anyone who talks about how you set this thing up to move your mouse and click on the screen. There's people who talk about the hotkeys, but not people who talk about how you move your mouse and click on the screen, and it can do both of those things. So, for me trading with Schwab, I use a combination of hotkeys and mouse movements and clicks built into one button. And it literally is life changing, guys. So hopefully you'll find this video helpful. Just know that I put in hours and hours and hours of research figuring out how to set up all these buttons correctly because again, I could not find any videos on YouTube. So if you find this helpful, please smash that like button. Please leave a comment if you, uh, if you think this is gonna be helpful for your trading. And uh, also, I just set up an Amazon Affiliates account, and uh, I can link the, uh, the Elgato Stream Deck below in the description, so if you guys are interested in getting it, I think it's definitely worth your time. I do get, I think, like 2% of, uh, if you buy it, it's like 150 bucks, or 200 bucks, depending on which one you get. I got the $200 one, it's like the version two, except it was only 150 bucks when I got it, so I don't know if it's worth the extra 50 bucks over the version one, but it's the 15 button, uh, you know, Elgato Stream Deck. So that's currently what I'm using, but seriously, it's life changing, and uh, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Now, I have tried to record this like 10 times, my, my, my software has stopped working, my computer died, so hopefully this one will work. If not, you know, if there's any errors, Please bear with me guys, I am, uh, I'm doing the best I can here. So, I just want to get this information to you because I know it will help you make more money. So without further ado, let's dive in and, and get this thing rolling. Alright guys, so I'm here at my computer, I'm not sure if I'm in focus, let me just triple check. Alright, yeah, so I'm here at my computer and uh, I just want to walk through how I set all this stuff up. Um, so, first things first, you're going to need to download the software, the Stream Deck software from Elgato's website. It's super easy, and once you've done that, it looks like this. And uh, just to, to walk you through a little bit, it's, it's kind of confusing at first, but it's really, really straightforward ultimately. So uh, here's where you can search all the things, all like the little apps you already have downloaded in your Stream Deck software. And then here's where you can go to add more. So it looks like a little keyboard in the top right hand corner. So you want to click on that. That's where you add new apps. And uh, you're going to want to search up something called, uh, what is it, Super? Yeah, Super Macro. That's what you're going to look up. So you're going to want to install that. I already have it installed. And once you have it installed, you close out and uh, you search super in your top right hand corner. You can see that this pulls up super macro and all the little things underneath it. Now, if it's your first time, again, it's going to be confusing, but all you're going to need is this thing right here, super macro, and this thing at the very bottom, mouse location. So the first thing is uh, the macro, and this is where we're going to be building all of our macros. That's pretty much just code. Macro is like code, so we're coding things in to these one buttons so that the computer knows that when I press this button, it means do this, do this, do this, do this, in this amount of time. So uh, that's what we're going to use here. So all of these buttons for me are macros, that's the super macro. So what you want to do is you click and drag, and uh, this makes it appear on your stream deck. And uh, I now have this little gear icon on my stream deck, like physically. You can see there's this little gear icon right there. So this mimics what you see on your actual stream deck. And uh, you know, I just wanna go through and build some of these so you guys can know how I did it. Um, but uh, I guess before I do that, well, no, I guess I'll go into this first. Yeah, I'll go into this first, guys. So how you wanna build this is uh, it's pretty straightforward. For me using Schwab, uh, I'm gonna use hotkeys and then if I need to, I'm going to use uh, mouse location and clicks. So for some things, for some actions, you don't need mouse keys at all. And for some, you do need like mouse clicks. So it really just depends on what it is. So uh, this right here is TCEHY. So if I press this button, it moves the mouse, clicks right here, and types in TCEHY and hits enter. So you can see if I'm like, if I'm on the wrong stock, you know, AABB for example, all I gotta do is press that button and it automatically goes and types it in super quickly. That was literally just one press of a button. So it's pretty nice to have that. Um, this is to cancel all my orders. This is the buy column. And uh, this is where you, I guess, is, the way I have it set up personally is this will buy to cover uh, on the ask plus two cents. This will buy market and this will buy on the bid. This is for shorting, so I will short here on the ask, 
short market and short one cent under the bid. And there's certain locations or I guess scenarios when you would want to use each of these and when you would want to you know, use the other one. It just really depends. Uh, you got to know the stock that you're trading. Sometimes if there's a huge gap, like a 10 cent gap under this bid and I want to try to get filled short before it cracks, you know, I'll use this because I don't want to get filled 10 cents below, but if I can get filled before the bid moves, then it's worth it. Stuff like that. Um, just keep that in mind, guys. So now I'm going to dive into how I actually set these up. So you can see uh, if I go here, there's short press and there's long press. So short press is if you just tap the button and long press is if you press and hold the button. Now, I'm sure there's certain times where one thing might be more useful than another. I personally just use short press because it's easier to get multiple things off quickly. But maybe if you wanted to, you know, short 500 for a short click and short 1,000 for a long click, you know, maybe that would work better. Uh, I don't know. It's completely up to you. But I just wouldn't want to mess up my order quantity by doing that. So personally, I don't have that. But you can code multiple things into the same button, which is pretty cool in my opinion. So the way that I have it set up is uh, all of these things start off with a hotkey. They start off with a hotkey. Now, depending on who your brokerage is, you might not have a hotkey. If you are on Fidelity, there are no built-in hotkeys, but what you can use is the order shortcut uh, thing that you can set up. I have a video on how to set that up, and if you use that with this, you're pretty much just gonna be clicking on the screen where those order shortcuts are. So keep that in mind. But I'm gonna go over how I do it for Schwab personally because you know this is what I'm using right now and it's just gonna be easier. So to set up a, uh, a hotkey on Schwab, you wanna right click Go to trade ticket settings and you're going to go to equity hotkeys. Now, I already have a bunch set up here, but to add a new one, you just go down here to keystroke and you can type in whatever hotkey you want here. Now, you could do like control alt s or something, but I've found that uh, on the on the stream deck, it really does not work. At least I couldn't get it to work if I used like a combination of control alt whatever. I had to use these F1, F2, F3 keys to uh, to make this work. So. If you have a keyboard like this, you're going to need to make sure that you click the F lock button to turn on those F keys because otherwise they're not going to work at all. So make sure you click the F lock button and then, you know, you can, you can put that to be whatever you want. So if you want to have it be F9, I'm not sure if it's on already. Yeah, F8. Call it F8. So now we put that in there and uh, this would be a great hotkey. So you can do any type of action you want here. You can do uh, enter order. This is what I always do. So enter order. Um, the next thing is going to be either buy. If you want to buy, you can short. Uh, this is what I do a lot of times. I just actually figured this out. So potentially a way to prevent buying too many shares and going long when you don't want to, especially on a stock that's like this, uh, where you use up your buying power because it's, it's non-marginable. Potentially if we use close, uh, this would be a better way of doing that because you can't close more shares than you have. Now sometimes Schwab's system is delayed and it thinks you have more shares than you actually do. So potentially you close out and you end up screwing yourself over. So. We'll see what happens. Uh, I got to test this one out. Right now, I've just been using buy, but I think close may work better, so stay tuned on that one. But uh, you pretty much put this here. Venue, I always do smart. Quantity, I always do 500. Type, again, you can do market. Uh, you can do limit if you want. If you do a limit, you know, that's the ask. That's the best ask. Don't, don't worry about the inside. That, that just means it's, it's the best of the asks, the lowest ask price. Uh, so you can do it directly on the ask. You can do, you know, five cents above. Two cents above, a cent below the ask if you want to like, I don't know, put it right under the ask. It just depends. You know, you got to consider all this stuff for yourself. But that's personally how I do it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just, it's how I do it. So uh, now that I, that I have all of these here, I, you know, all of these are set up basically to, uh, to have one of those things. You know, whether it's buying 500 on the ask, buying 500 on the bid buying 500 market, etc. You know, I have all these set up already in my hotkeys. So that is, uh, that's good enough for me right there. So we'll just call this, we'll call this short, uh, 500. We'll call it, uh, short 500 in market, right? Just, just for the purpose of this, you know, that, that's, uh, that's just what we're working on, right? I'll cancel that for now. So I go back here. And uh, now we're actually going to build this. So to start off, you can capture the keystroke if you want. Uh, so we could automatically put it in there. Honestly, the easiest thing is just to type in two of these like little, I guess, parenthesis looking things. And then you put in F and whatever it is. So, you know, F2, great. That's what it is. And uh, that's, that's actually my hotkey for shorting 500 market, right? So now it's going to short 500 market. 
But you can see if I do that, it's gonna sort 500 market. We get this and we get this little message here. Again, it doesn't actually sort 500 market, it just gives you this acknowledgement message. So to actually sort, you gotta click here and you gotta click on place order. So we gotta put in, put in the macro so that it can do all of those things. Um, but you can actually see, if I, if I go here, you can see that if I, if I short, there's like a, a little bit of a pause before that menu actually pops up. So we need to wait, because if we click the second we press the hotkey, there's not gonna be this menu here and we're not gonna be checking the box. The, the box won't be there yet. So the next thing you gotta do is add in a pause. So I put in pause colon 500, that's 500 milliseconds. And uh, now it's gonna wait half a second after pressing the hotkey before it does the next thing. The next thing we wanna do is move the mouse over this check bar, or, or you know, over this check box. And the way that you do that is uh, you type in mouse, X, Y, looks like mouse sexy, I don't know, I guess it, X, Y, location of the mouse. You put a colon, and then you're gonna type in the coordinates. Now, how do we get the coordinates of where it is? Well, it's actually very straightforward. So all you do for that is you take this mouse location from here, you drag it, you press the button once on your stream deck, like in the actual physical stream deck. So you press it once, and uh, from there, you can see it's now tracking. But to copy it to your clipboard, all you gotta do is go over wherever you want. Ah, it can be a little tough to line it up and then pull your, thing, your hand off the mouse. Oh my gosh, this is infuriating. I feel like I'm five years old. There we go. All right, that's good enough, good enough. So now I click and press, like press and hold on the button on the physical stream deck, and now it's copied to my clipboard. I go back. And uh, now I can just paste that right in here. So I Command V or Control V, and there it is. I close those, and now it's gonna move the mouse there. Now the next thing is going to be, uh, I believe it's L click, I gotta double check. L button, L button. So if you type in uh, you know, two parentheses, L button, now it's gonna move the mouse to where that is, and it's going to, uh, it's gonna click once on that checkbox. So let's go ahead and test that out. Pulls it up and clicks the checkbox. So you can see all that's left is we need to move the mouse here and we need to click place order. So let's go ahead and set that up. So again, to do that, you know, we're just gonna need to, I guess we're gonna need to go back here, have this set up and uh, go anywhere of this place order button. That's good enough for me. Again, press and hold on the physical mouse location button on your, your physical stream deck. I pressed and hold, now pressed and held, and now it's copied to my clipboard. I, uh, I go here, type in again, mouse sexy, colon, put in that new coordinate, and do the L button again. Bada boom, bada bing, there we got it. And now, when I press it, it's automatically going to short. It's gonna it's gonna do all those things. It's gonna press the hotkey, it's gonna click here, and it's going to click place order, which is pretty darn epic if I do say so myself. So uh, let's just test it out once. So there's the short key. I just shorted at 64.65. And I'm gonna cover now with my other hotkey that I have. I just covered at 64.62. I just made 15 bucks. Let's go. Actually, this thing's breaking down. I may want to short some more. I don't want to lose money because I'm making this video. But, uh, damn, that's quite the dump. Sometimes it does it a little fast. So you just press the button again and you're fine, you know. Let's see if it'll break down one more time. It may pop here because we got INTL on the bid. Yeah, I'm just going to cover just to be safe. It may break down more, but I don't want to, I don't want to get squeezed there. So there you can see that's how it works, guys. It's, uh, it's pretty nice, and you know, there, there you see it. So to, to do the other ones, it's pretty, pretty much the same thing. You know, uh, I can show you real quick all of my things. Uh, so here's my short market. That's the thing that we just built. It's trying to glitch out on me. So you can see, there it is, short on the ask. Pretty much the same thing, just the, uh, just the updated hotkey. Same thing for all those. Um, for these, for buying or covering, you literally just need the hotkey. It's pretty easy. 
Um, so there's that, you know, cancel again, it's just a hotkey. It just makes it easier to have it here uh, instead of pressing a hotkey, you know, oh, which one, which one is it? To have an actual physical button where you can customize the layout, make sure you're not clicking the wrong thing, it's a lot easier. Uh, and then TCHY, I just, uh, to do that, you know, I, I put the mouse over there, I double click, so it's M left DBL click, and then you have to type in each letter separately in those parentheses, so T, C, E, H, Y, and then enter is in its own parentheses. So that's how I set up that. So that is pretty much it, guys. This will be so helpful. This will be a game changer, I promise you. Uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please smash the like button. Please use my uh, affiliate link for Amazon in the description. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Until the next time, you know the drill, guys. Let's grow better together. Bebé, dime por qué te mientes No puedes esconder todo lo que tú por mí sientes